What's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Jeff, I'm the owner of RDR Gear in Salt Lake City, Utah. And today we have the Uni Fast Mount for the MRO. Before we let you guys get all crazy with the MRO comments, let's tell you a little bit about RDR. We build canine gear, Kydex holsters, so far end mods, front end wraps, chest rigs, placards, plate carriers. We do a little bit of everything here. So if you want to see what we do, you can find out on our website, rdrgear.com. You can check out our Instagram and our Facebook page. We post a lot of the custom stuff we do there, the one-off holsters, the holster wraps, holster mods. You can see all that good stuff there. So back to this. Now, MRO. This is a topic of contention. Some of you guys are going to really hate on the MRO. Some of you guys are going to love the MRO like I do. Um, but at the end of the day, this dot has been with me for a minute. Um, I've had it for a very long time. And um, it's just been a good overall red dot for me. I like the bigger uh, eye relief or bigger eye box. Um, the adjustments are easy to use. Um, battery up top. I have no problems with it. And then when Unity came out with the MRO, I called my buddy Chip and said, hey, I want to pick one of these up. I snagged one from those guys. Um, and I've been very impressed with what you get in the MRO fast mount. This will fit both the MRO and the MRO HD dots. You have an integrated backup iron sight here with windage and elevation. And with the new mounts from Unity, you have the offset inter interface right here. So in theory, if you wanted to run a, you've seen a lot of guys running dual red dots or offset a primary red dot and offset red dot. You could easily run the primary and MRO and you could run a 45 offset with the interface mount on the side here. So that's something that's unique. And again, for some people that might be their jam that might uh, fit their needs. So, so this is a 2.26 height dot, meaning this center line of the red dot, height over bore dot muzzle, there is 2.26 inches above your point of aim and point of impact. So if you are going to run a fast mount or a tall mount, you need to know your holds. You need to know where you're going to put this red dot to have rounds impact where you want the rounds to go. If you try to point this dot where you want the bullet to go, you're going to be low, no matter what. Um, and our, we have some B-roll that'll show you that today. All right, so one of the things about a, running a 2.26 mount or having a dot that is certain light at 2.26 six inches high, the muzzle and the dot, there's a mechanical offset, right? So if I need to get shots for a CNS shot, T box, I have to make sure where I put my dot to in ensure that I get my correct impacts. So if you're going to run a dot like one of these unities, make sure you're putting the training time in and understanding how you are going to use a dot this tall. All right, so Chris made up a good point. So these rounds here, dot was here, right? For mechanical offset. I aimed where I put my dot, thinking, if I'm thinking, oh, where the dot is, the bullets go. That's not the case. Dot was on the nose, rounds it in the teeth. The mechanical offset between here and the muzzle. So guys, if you're gonna use these kind of mounts, make sure you're training with them. Right. Ready? Ready? Threat. If you're looking for a CNS shot or T-box shot, eyes to eye, bridge to uh, lower nose, you need to know where that dot needs to go. That dot needs to go top of hairline, top of forehead to get rounds to drop correctly. If you put red dot dead on the eyes and that's where you want that shot to go, you're gonna put rounds in the teeth. That's just because of the height of a bore, the mechanical offset between where the dot is and the bore of the rifle. So again, know your holds when you're using something like this. Just the Unity products are very hot right now. It's the new thing, and there's reason for that. Um, but if you do buy one, know what you're doing, put the time in, learn your holds, learn your offset, and know that. Because some of you guys might be, I have several Leo buddies, and I won't name them, but they don't put as much time in a rifle as they do pistol, but they all run tall mounts. Um, they don't have nod, they do have gas masks, but um, I know one of the guys, and we, we see each other at matches, we see each other at range meetups, you know, bumping each other here and there. Um, I do sometimes see their lack of time on gun 
in regards to shot placement due to the height over bore issue. So again, where they're putting the dot and where they want the bolts to go. So just again, make sure you're putting the time in, you're training with their dot. Um, final thoughts, get one. Um, even if you don't run night vision, you don't run a gas mask, there are some other benefits. Um, heads up display. So gun is up. My head doesn't have to move anywhere from this gun. I literally have to look where I want it to go, bring dot, find holds, and make those shots. Um, for me personally, uh, my neck is pretty banged up. Having the ability not to have to do this on the gun is a huge benefit for my neck. Um, downside, trying to zero this thing in a prone position, it's a pain in the ass. Getting on the ground and trying to hold this position will be miserable on your neck, right? So, but if you had to shoot prone, you can shoot junkyard prone, you can do a lot of different things. But again, prone is a position of luxury. Not many times you're gonna find yourself getting on the deck and, and putting rounds on bad guy or doing things from the most comfortable position. You're gonna be usually off a barricade, offset, off hand, um, improvised positions, etc. So having that tar mount, keeping that head up and moving is gonna be a big deal and it's gonna benefit you in the long run. So at the end of the day, whether you run an aim point, you run a uh, Trigicon, you run an MRO, a hollow sun, whatever footprint, you are footprint of dot you have the fast mounts are a great option to get um, you can find them at pretty much a ton of retailers uh big Tech outdoors unity, unity directly um uh oh gosh here locally you can get them at tnt gun range um where else i believe gallantons guns has them now as well ready gunner i believe as well so you can find these any online retailer as well so that's it guys on the unity fast mount um Again, the MRO is for me, I like it, I use it. Um, this setup works great for me. I have it on a T1 as well, or T2, excuse me, on the fast mount for the aim point with a magnifier, and it's a great setup. It can't go wrong. So if you wanna go tall mount, nothing wrong with that. Just make sure you put the time in to understand the mechanical offset and train to those offsets and know your holds. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, we post two to three videos every week on gear that we use, gear that we manufacture, gear that we review. Until next time, be well, take care.